Across the vast expanse of the United States, two contrasting scenarios unfold each year. On the sun-kissed shores of California, wildfires rage with terrifying intensity. Flames devour acres of forest, painting the sky an apocalyptic orange. Thousands of miles east, the east coast hunkers down under a blanket of snow. Blizzards unleash their fury, transforming cities into silent landscapes. These contrasting weather phenomena, though geographically distant, are linked by a complex web of atmospheric forces. California, with its iconic coastline and towering redwood forests, is also a land shaped by fire. The state's unique climate and geography make it highly susceptible to wildfires. Summers are long, hot, and dry. This dry season, lasting from late spring to early fall, transforms vegetation into tinder, ready to ignite at a moment's notice. Winters bring much-needed rainfall, but it's often not enough to compensate for the prolonged dry spells. California's geography further exacerbates the fire risk. Coastal mountains trap moisture-laden air from the Pacific Ocean. This creates a rain shadow effect leaving inland areas parched. Vast valleys and desert regions dominate the landscape, providing ample fuel for wildfires once they ignite. Adding fuel to the fire, literally, are the notorious Santa Ana winds. These dry, downslope winds originate in the high-pressure system of the Great Basin, east of California. As they flow westward, they are compressed and heated as they descend from the elevated desert plateau. This adiabatic heating process further dries the air, turning it into a parched, fire-breathing dragon. The Santa Ana winds race through canyons and valleys, reaching speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. They can transform a small spark into a raging inferno, pushing flames across vast distances with alarming speed. The combination of dry vegetation, low humidity, and these powerful winds creates the perfect storm for catastrophic wildfires. Section 4, The East Coast, A Winter Wonderland Meanwhile, on the opposite side of the continent, the East Coast braces for a different kind of extreme weather snowstorms. These snowstorms can be both beautiful and treacherous, transforming the landscape into a picturesque scene while also posing significant challenges for residents. Winter brings with it a dramatic shift in atmospheric conditions. The serene snowfall can quickly turn into a blizzard, disrupting daily life and making travel hazardous. The East Coast's winter weather is a testament to nature's power and unpredictability. The jet stream, a high-altitude river of wind, dips southward, bringing with it frigid Arctic air. This movement is a key factor in the development of winter storms, as it sets the stage for the collision of different air masses. This cold air mass collides with warmer, moisture-laden air from the Atlantic Ocean, creating the perfect recipe for snow. The interaction between these air masses can lead to intense snowfall and rapidly changing weather conditions. The East Coast's proximity to the Atlantic Ocean plays a crucial role in its susceptibility to snowstorms. The ocean provides a continuous source of moisture which, when combined with cold air, results in significant snowfall. Nor'easters, powerful storms that develop off the East Coast, draw their energy from the contrast between cold continental air and warm ocean waters. These storms can be particularly severe, bringing heavy snow, strong winds and coastal flooding. As these storms move northward, they unleash heavy snowfall, strong winds, and coastal flooding. The impact of a nor'easter can be felt across the region, affecting millions of people and leaving a lasting mark on the landscape. Section 5. The Jet Stream, A River of Wind Connecting these seemingly disparate weather phenomena is the jet stream. This narrow band of strong winds, located high in the atmosphere, plays a crucial role in shaping our weather patterns. It flows from west to east, but its path is not a straight line. Instead, it meanders, creating waves that influence weather systems below. This high-altitude wind current acts as a giant atmospheric conveyor belt, transporting weather systems across the globe. It can steer storms, influence temperature patterns, and even affect the development of severe weather events. The jet stream's position and strength can vary, leading to significant changes in weather from one region to another. During the winter months, the jet stream often develops a pronounced southward dip or trough over the eastern United States. This trough can bring cold air from the Arctic down into the lower latitudes, resulting in significant temperature drops and increased chances of snow and ice storms. This allows frigid Arctic air to plunge southward, bringing snow and freezing temperatures to the east coast. 
Cities that are not typically accustomed to such harsh winter conditions can find themselves blanketed in snow, causing disruptions in daily life and challenges for infrastructure. At the same time, the jet stream often forms a ridge or northward bulge over the western United States. This ridge can lead to prolonged periods of dry and warm weather, exacerbating drought conditions in regions like California. This ridge acts as a blocking pattern, diverting storms and moisture away from California, perpetuating the state's dry conditions. The lack of rainfall can lead to severe droughts, which in turn increase the risk of wildfires, creating a cycle of extreme weather events. This atmospheric tug-of-war with the jet stream dipping south in the east and bulging north in the west, creates the contrasting weather patterns we see on each coast. The dynamic nature of the jet stream means that our weather is constantly changing, influenced by this powerful river of wind high above us. Section 6. Climate Change – A Common Thread While these contrasting weather patterns are part of the natural variability of Earth's climate system, they are becoming more pronounced and frequent. This is not just a random occurrence but a sign of a deeper, more concerning trend. Climate change is adding fuel to the fire both literally and figuratively. The increase in global temperatures is creating conditions that are ripe for more frequent and severe wildfires, storms, and other extreme weather events. Rising global temperatures are exacerbating both extremes. Hotter summers and milder winters are becoming the new norm, leading to a cascade of environmental impacts that affect ecosystems and human societies alike. In California, hotter temperatures and prolonged droughts are drying out vegetation, turning lush landscapes into tinderboxes. This creates a perfect storm for wildfires which are becoming more frequent and devastating, making it more susceptible to ignition. Even a small spark can set off a massive blaze, endangering lives, property, and natural habitats. The Santa Ana winds, driven by pressure differences in the atmosphere, are becoming more extreme as the planet warms. These winds can fan the flames of wildfires, spreading them rapidly across large areas. On the East Coast, climate change is contributing to more intense snowstorms. These storms are not just a nuisance, they can disrupt transportation, cause power outages, and pose serious risks to public safety. Warmer ocean temperatures provide more fuel for nor'easters, leading to heavier precipitation. This means more snow, more ice, and more challenges for communities trying to cope with these extreme weather events. While the frequency of snowstorms may decrease in a warming world, the ones that do occur are likely to be more intense. This paradox is a direct result of the complex interactions between different components of the climate system. The storms that do occur are likely to be more intense and disruptive. As we continue to pump greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, these extreme weather events will become more common, posing significant challenges for our future. Section 7. A Glimpse into the Future As climate change continues to reshape our planet, these contrasting weather patterns are likely to become even more pronounced. California's fire season is projected to lengthen, with more intense and destructive wildfires. The East Coast can expect to see a continuation of the trend toward more intense snowstorms, interspersed with periods of warmer, wetter weather. These extreme weather events serve as a stark reminder of our planet's interconnectedness, what happens on one coast can have ripple effects thousands of miles away. As we continue to grapple with the challenges of a changing climate, understanding the complex interplay of atmospheric forces is crucial for mitigating risks and adapting to a future where extremes are the new normal. 